was raised out in Louisiana, down on the black bayou, where we like our swamps and alligators, love our crawfish too. We got that feeling gumbo running through our veins. It's our feet dancing with we hear that fiddle play. We love to hear that Cajun music down at the Fayetteville door, door, dancing with our sweethearts and just letting the good times roll. We know it's God first and then our family and friends. It's kind of hard to explain all the music. It's just the Louisiana thing. Okay, we're just getting set up. I put some decoys in that tree right behind. Two decoys in there. Uh, we scouted yesterday. They had a bunch of doves in this area. We're in a clear cut. A bunch of them were landing in these little trees. Hopefully we'll get a little action. Y'all stay tuned. Once you shoot them, you can't take your eye off of the spot or you'll lose them in this goat weed. Take them. Mark? Okay. Just, just by that green. Shoot them. Dude, that was quick three right there. Got that one marked by that tree. Eat on this goat weed. And that's what they eat. Coming in. Some action right there. It's hot though. All right, recovered another one. Good mark, Tim. Tim put me in the right direction. We had one hit that went down over there. Went back, looked for it, we found it. All right, we got our limit today 15, and we're flying good. We're gonna cook them up. How many figured you saw out there, brother? I don't know. Quite a few, Six, huh? Six, seven, eight hundred, probably. 
such a big area. If you pick the right tree, they will come and land near the tree or... Yeah. It didn't take Frank long. He, he was in a good spot, plus he's a great shot. All right, we got a pot roast 15 of these doves that we shot this morning. It's been a good day. We all killed a bunch of doves. All right, this is all I'm gonna do. K Fred, right here. Check this out, come in tight. We're gonna put a good layer. Move them around. Make sure it gets all over in there. Okay, we have the dove seasoned with the cave red. We have some pork sausage we took out the casing. We're gonna stuff the cavity with this. Here we go, just slot it in like that. We have the bird season marinated. Look how pretty that looks. I got them stuffed. Just put a little bit of canola oil on the bottom, right? A little cooking oil. We're going to go ahead and start browning them up. This is a big pot. We didn't need a pot this big, but we got a lot of surface area to brown. As soon as they brown real good, we're going to add the onions and the bell peppers. Forgot the garlic. We don't have any fresh garlic, but there is a lot of garlic in pig bread. If your meat's browning and it's getting real hot, you can always just add a little bit of water. It's going to pull the stuff off the bottom. You know, you can always turn the fire down, but sometimes that might be, it's not quick enough. So add a little bit of water. It'll cook down and start browning the meat again as soon as the water evaporates your meat's gonna start browning. So always keep water nearby if your fire gets real hot. Keep browning it. That's gonna make the pretty gravy is getting that bird nice and brown. We also threw the hearts and the gizzards in here. I think Tim had cleaned them for me. Also I'd like to thank Kill Reed. He's the cameraman today. He's helped me out. He did some good shooting, got his limit. So now we're gonna go ahead and get the cabbage going. Just a little bit of canola oil. We're gonna go ahead and brown this pork and all this smoked sausage down. So now we got two things going at one time. Well, that spot we had late this morning, those doves were coming in. We were sitting by one tree. They all wanted to light in that tree. They wanted to come land by us. Man, I wish y'all could smell this. This pork and this smoked sausage browning like this. Okay, we got the doves browned down pretty good. We're going to go ahead and add the onions and the bell peppers in here. All right. We're going to add the onions with the sausage in this pot here, in the pork. Well, look how good this is looking, guys. Brown the, the onions down real good. We're gonna add the cabbage. 
to the pork smoked sausage. This is gonna make one of the prettiest gravies. It's not like a good dove gravy or a good teal. You know, teal's pretty close, but it's hard to be dove. We're gonna go ahead and add some cape red to the smoked sausage and onions. We put a good bit of it now. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of chicken broth to this. Also, I'm gonna add a little bit here to this. This is good smoked sausage. And we got a pork steak, a couple pork steaks we cut up. A bunch of Cape Red, we added our onions to this. It's cooked down good. I think we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add the cabbage. This is two heads of cabbage. Not real big, but... All right, we're gonna add some water to this cabbage. We want it just to smother down. All that water's gonna cook out. Two bottles of water. All right, so we're just gonna let it smother down. I'm gonna put the top on, probably 10 minutes, and then I'll start turning it over. So we did add some chicken broth. I'm gonna add another one bottle of water to this. I'm gonna put the top on. We're just gonna cook it till it's tender. That might be 30, 40 minutes. We want it falling off the bone before we serve it. All right, let's check on the cabbage. Look at this, guys. Man, is this gonna be good. pork and two different kinds of smoked sausage. It's going to be really tasty. Ooh, look at the gravy. Also look at this cabbage, guys. Look at the smoked sausage and the pork in here. Smell this. It's gonna be good. Grab a couple. Oh yeah. Pretty gravy. With that cabbage. That's enough. That's all mine. Enjoy, Timmy. <laughs> that gravy's pretty. It's dark gravy, mm -hmm. for sure. Pretty plate. What? Beautiful. I'm right behind y'all. That one's falling apart right there, Timmy. I see that. Let me get those two right there. This is one of my favorites, so I love cabbage. Gotta leave a little bit of room for the peas. <laughs> How is it, Tim? I like it. It's good? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's always good. <laughs> I'm not complaining about anything.
Our pastrami's cabbage and smoked sausage. Put some pork in there too, like that was a pork steak I chopped up. So tender. Let's check this dove out, Ted. Look. Look how the meat just comes off. How tender that is. Also have the stuff in there. Don't get much better than that, Tim. How is it, Ray? It's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more, uh, we got plenty. We three of us.